Hi everyone, Ashley here with Scraps, Buttons, and Bows, and today we're going to be making um, uh, number file folder number two and file folder number three. I wanted to make sure that we got these all cut and ready. Um, we're going to make these file folders before we put them in the book. So actually doing our um, the inside binding with the hidden hinge and everything is actually going to go last. It's so out of the normal, but we're going to get the actual folders done. We might start work on the first one today. We'll just see how. Um, I don't intend to run very long, but you know me. <laughs> I always usually end up two and a half, three hours. Um, but I do want to at least get two and three done. They're super easy and fast. I imagine that would only take us like 20, 25 minutes. So um, anyhow, I have to share with you guys. Um, I got my um, design team package and um, in it is the uh, um, the bow bunny somewhere in time and it's absolutely gorgeous so let me show you guys the paper collection first these ones are the cardstock colors that come with this we will um, I'll be doing something with um, scrap it have a do for the design team which I'm super excited about with this paper and then after that is done we'll be doing something in class with this paper um, I have it on order so this is the front and back of this one it's got the dots it's a nice blue scrap it have a do has got it in right now they got all three the um, is it lemonade stand enchanted garden oh gosh I hope I don't have that wrong and then the um, the somewhere in time I keep confusing this one with the the primo one because they're very close in title so this is the brown it's a very nice chocolate these are all coordinating pieces that go with this line and this is a it might look funny to you actually that looks pretty true to color usually my camera doesn't do well with oranges it's a very nice orange. Okay, so those are the colored card stock that you can get for this. And this is the paper. And oh my gosh, I so thought I was just going to spend my day licking the paper yesterday. It's so yummy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the front of it. And I wanted to show it to you guys so it's stinking bad. So it comes with the, the combo stickers, of course. Gosh, the colors are showing up, at least on my screen. It doesn't look pixelated, and they're showing up pretty well. You guys will have to let me know if you got pixelation. Okay. This is one of my favorite sheets. This is the Summer in Time Balloons. Look at the hot air balloons. I absolutely love this paper so yummy hi Heather yay Heather's here I wasn't sure if she was going to be up I was kind of reading through chat and saw that you were up but I wasn't sure if you'd be here this is another one look at that corset this is very to me steampunkish and vintage but it's got some really good mixtures of colors in it with the blues and the yellows so there's that one. Oh, did I show you the back side of this one? I didn't. So let me show you the back side of the other one too. This is the corset one, and I love this page. Okay, there's all the I call them the ghost gears because they just look really ghostly. So this is the back side of the balloon page. It's got all these like pipes and stuff. Very rusty looking. I, I'm half tempted to go back in and order just a second dose just so I could have one to hoard. And this one. There's this side. This is the um, Memento. It's got little M's on it. And then this is the back side of it. This could be the front side. It's all the hats and stuff. Love those. And then this is Evening Mist. I love this blue. This blue is just divine. So, so yummy. Okay. 
And then there's this side, the stripes with the clocks. There's like a dress form over here. And a flower. And this one's kind of a, like a wonky chevron. It's all different widths and it's kind of like tilted a little bit. I actually kind of like it. I like chevrons to begin with. <clears throat> this is the back side. Love these flowers. And this one's called an imagination. The gears. I love, love, love the cut aparts in this. Hands down, my favorite cut apart. So these are some of the cut aparts. And they are different on the back side, but they are laid out so if you cut one, you're not cutting into something weird. Because the same layout, you know, the four up top, four down, you know, that kind of thing. Love this one. My favorite. You're welcome, Renee. I want to share with you guys some of the things that I think are gorgeous. And this just happens to be one of them. I'm also really kind of keen on the lemonade stand. I like the Enchanted for, um, Garden. Is it Forest? I like the colors and stuff. It's not particularly my style. I think it's a beautiful collection. Um, it's not something I would normally work with, but that lemonade stand just screams summer album. Oh, did I show you guys the backs? I did. Okay. And then there's this page. Love this page. And then the back is the, it's the exact same as the blue, but in a yellow. And then there's this one. Just kind of got the, these are fun to punch out. You have the, it's like half inch punch, circle punch. And I love this one. Super cute. Oh, let's look at the old wood. Got some vines growing. A little doorknob down here. Love this. Is yeah, I saw this one and I was like, <laughs> love this page too. You wouldn't think, but these yellows and blues are just gorgeous together. Absolutely love them. So that's the paper collection. Um, <clears throat> a few of the other things they've also got in stock for you guys is they have the six by sixes, same pages. They're single sided. Okay. Oh. There's a couple different things in these six by sixes, like this page that are not in the twelve by twelves. There's there's a couple of them. I didn't see the other one when I was going through it. Or was it just the corsets? Maybe it was just the corsets. They don't have the 12 by 12 of just the corsets, but it is reminiscent of that page with the gears and the corsets. They just put more of them on there. Okay, so there's those. These brads, I don't like brads. I'm not a big brad fan, but these brads, whew, they're metal. I absolutely love them. Look at those. And those little teeny tiny ones, they almost look like the enamel dots. I absolutely am in love with this Brad pack. So, Brad's are where it's at for this collection. There's their buttons. I love these wood ones. Their jewels and gems. These are the gems and they've got the pearls. It's a mix. Okay. Uh, this is the layered chipboard in OMG. Every single one of these I absolutely love. See, I can hoard these. Most of the time I would use these, but I don't know. <clears throat> the Noteworthy. These are the um, kind of like cardstock cutouts. And they've got some great cutouts. And here the corset and the gears, that heart. All of it's just right up my alley. I think that's why I'm so in love with this pack. And then, of course, this is the ephemera pack. It's got ribbon and buttons. And it's stuff that you may be like, whoa, how does that match? But this stuff is awesome. 
It's got the big chipboards. There's gems and buttons and papers and cutouts and rub-ons and all kinds of stuff. So even if you don't end up using it in with this collection, this is the great kind of stuff to have for other collections too. So there's that. I just wanted to share those with you guys because I'm an absolute love and we will be using this. I'm going to use it for the design team first and then I'll use it in class. But I have one more thing I want to show you guys. <clears throat> Let me grab our stuff for class. And I'm going to turn the camera so I can show you guys. It's going to get wonky. Hold on. You guys are going to get really close. Up close and personal with this one. All right. It looks wonky, and that's because it's my camera that's not straight. This is what we are, uh, Scrap It Have a Do has got their design team, and we also, they have a Ustream channel now, and we're going to be streaming on May 31st um, to make these projects. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get this done in two hours. Within that following seven days, we will do, an, I will do another individual stream for Scrap It Have a Do to continue working on this. Um, so... Xander is doing a gorgeous mini album, and so the, this was made with the capability of holding the mini album in the drawer. Um, this one is the prototype, and so when I did it, I made the drawer too tight, and it won't, I mean, it closes, but you aren't getting it back open. So I'm leaving it open. I'm going to leave the lace in there. The one I make in class will, um, will contain, well, I won't have Xander's album, but it will have the capabilities of sliding in and out properly and hold Xander's album. Also, it's meant to hold the tags as well. Um, all of the ladies are going to be making tags with this paper line, and this is the Prima one that we're currently using in our class. Um, so they're going to be designing some tags, and I've seen some of them, and they're just gorgeous. So you'll be able to take the extra papers that you've got left over and... Um, make some tags with it, really kind of kill a collection, use everything that you got, and really work with it really well. So these, of course, are some of the flowers from the collection and the chipboard. This one's a Tim Holt die, but I used the, the Prima paper, um, some of their flowers. Now I've used the Tim Holtz feet. I don't know if you guys can see them. These are the feet down here. The metal feet and the label pole I used that as well and those things I actually spray painted um, and I don't have it in here I'll show it on one of my other shows um, it's like a hammered spray paint it's also what's on the lid of the jars now the jars are just dollar store jars and I spray painted them a nice cream to match the collection and then there's some of the wood chips from the collection. There's some dyed seam binding with Lindy's with some twine. And this one actually is housing the Prima flowers for this collection. Right here. And they just sit right here in this front section. And then these two jars on either end house dyed seam binding to match the paper. Just a whole bunch of crinkled seam binding. But they all have the seam binding tied around with the twine and then the wood. Um, oh, what are these called? Um, wood veneers? I don't know. Little wood pieces. Okay. And they're, um, they've got some gold on them. I stained them some gold. And then the lids are that hammered. I want to see if I can find one where you guys can see. It doesn't really show very well. Well, maybe. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It's got this hammered look to the spray paint, and I absolutely love it. Now, you can pick up, yeah, wood veneer. So you can pick up um, that spray paint for, like, $4 at Home Depot. And, you know, the jars to fit into it. <clears throat> so the lace and the pearls, all mine. I just threw that in there. It makes it look so vintage and gorgeous. But there's tons of just regular eight size, size eight tags. Back here I've got craft, and this is kind of like a craft cream and then black. And then a whole bunch of tags from the collection 
are also in there. Okay. So around the sides and stuff, I, I did some trimming here on the sides with one of the punches. I think it just gave it that much more. And you can use this for other things, but this is designed to house Xandra's mini album and to house the tags that the ladies are making. Uh, Jenny's making a fantastic magnetic board, and Jen is making a time capsule out of the same paper that will also house the tags that the ladies are making. So some fabulous, fabulous projects. It's going to be an entire day of fantastic crafting. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of that. I didn't get to show it on Tuesday because the newsletter hadn't come out. And so I was like, oh, sad day. So I'm really glad that we're doing it today. We have no class on Sunday. No class. Um, we aren't going camping, but I am taking the time out and to spend it with my family. I think we're going to go fishing for the day, pack a big lunch, and just relax and enjoy the three-day weekend. We will have class again on Tuesday, which is the card class for May the Christmas card class, and I'm hoping to have those done in the next couple of days and posted so you guys know. Um, <clears throat> and so next Thursday we'll be back here at 3 again to continue with our file folder, or the BHA, Big Honking Album, okay? <clears throat> what size jars are they? Let's measure them. These are just dollar store jars. I don't actually even know. It doesn't even say, actually. So from... Bottom to top, they're five tall. Okay. Uh, the opening circumference of the mouth is about three and a quarter. No, I'm sorry, two and three quarters wide. Let's see here. And it doesn't say like what size on the bottom either. And about three wide for the jar itself. And they fit nicely in there. They're not super loose, but it's not tight. So, yeah. So we're gonna start it. <clears throat> And the times I give you are all Pacific. You guys can go to Scrap It Abadoo's blog and they'll have um, the actual, what I'm calling the invite. Jenny did this beautiful, um, I don't know what you would even call it, Jenny. I don't, I'm <laughs> not technical. Um, I'm calling it the invite. And on there it shows what times we're streaming. But they're for Pacific standard time. So you're going to have to convert it to wherever you are. Um, so we're starting at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's 12.30, 11.30, 10.30 a.m. No, I'm sorry. 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, Is it 4.30 p.m. Eastern? So if it's 1.30 here, it's 4.30 on the East Coast. Hopefully that's right. So for all of you East Coasters, it'll be 1.30. It would be a kind of a late night. But uh, definitely worth being up for and great project. So any questions? I always get my times mixed up when I'm counting. <laughs> I'm not a good time converter. I know there's an app for it. There has to be an app. Let's find the app, ladies. <laughs> Convert the time. So um, tons and tons of fun. Dandra's mini is super cute. So I'm going to spin you guys back around, raise you guys back up, and we'll get started. I just had to tell you guys about that because I couldn't tell you guys Tuesday. And ironically enough, the, that thing was sitting here on my desk and was staring at me the whole time. And I wanted nothing but to show you guys, but I couldn't. You know how much restraint that takes? Let me tell you what. So let me move that out of the way and then we'll get started. <clears throat> My desk is so needs to be cleaned. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I 
you guys still there? Holy Krishmoly. I hate this new computer. I hate this new computer. Actually, I love you, computer. Don't bust. <sighs> okay. I moved and my screen went black. Oh, geez. I hope you guys are still there. Okay. Two and this is three. Those are my scraps. <laughs> More scraps. That would be fabulous, Janny. I think Janny is our resident technological goo. Well, I I don't know if that's how to how to say it but she can create all these fun posters and signs and I'm just not that way at all so bravo to Janny because I wish I could I probably could if I sat down to learn but so we're, we've got our envelope punch board I'm just gathering away today and so we did style one which is this one with the tab at the top the tab at the top okay and we did this one on Tuesday, so the measurements are in that video. So we're going to do tab two and tab three today. They're really quick. They don't take very long, so it won't be kind of a short class, I think. So I don't, I don't want to go into decorating it without everybody here. So, all right. Uh -huh. I had everything pre-cut. <laughs> I'm such a winner. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to check measurements right quick. There's only three. They're so big and thick with the folders and the folds and stuff. There's only three, Sandy. Like this right here, this is tab one. This this whole section is file folder one. And see, when I initially did this, I had I was gonna do two of each. But after doing it, these end up quite heavy. And so I think for these ones we're just gonna make another file folder that's just kind of a storage pocket, maybe has a mat on the front. It's not gonna be anything extensive. It's just gonna be in between all of these ones. I don't want to put a lot of stress on the spines and the hinges because these are relatively heavy with all the mats and all the junk that are in them. It's not, you know, it's, I'm going to be using the craft text for the spine. So I'm going to have a little bit more durability or not the spine, but the actual hinges themselves. But we have to use wet glue for that. I can't use score tape. So um, there's just the three. There's style two, you can kind of see it with the middle tab there. And then this one is style three with the bottom tab here. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. And it's relatively thick with just this three. If you would like, we could do all six. You know, that's completely up to you guys. It's basically just repeating. You would make two um, file folders of each style and then you would decorate them however you wanted. But I mean, we'll go over decoration and where to put pockets and stuff. We're doing that in class. But with the additional three, that's completely up to you. It is heavy. Um, that's what I just didn't want. You know, I don't like building books that fall apart. And so that's why I use way too much paper, way too much tape, probably way too much glue. But in the end, it it's, strong and it's stable and that's how I want to keep that one so putting six in it was just too much I think for it so that's why we're going to go with the three additional um, storage pockets for all intensive purposes uh, so so this is the cover we did the other day in class this is with the Prima paper and it is divine it absolutely is absolutely gorgeous. I love this paper. So this is the paper we're using throughout the entire collection. I am so glad we went with that cream in the middle. It looks just awesome with the, the writing and stuff. 
So and this is it folded open, but we haven't done this because this will be last along with the inside covers. So make sure that you save a couple. Pull out your inside covers. I'll give you guys measurements in the next week's class. We'll, we'll set those pages aside. So. Hi, Zandra. Welcome, welcome. It's a four-inch spine. It is. It's a big spine. But uh, that's because there's half-inch gussets in between the six pages. I wanted there to be room. And there needs to be room. The way it folds and stuff. So that's just... That's how it is. So we did tab one, and I just showed you guys that. So measurements for tab one are in Tuesday's video, which is still here on your stream. I need to move it over. Uh, let's do tab two. <clears throat> we still have our Z fold gusts or our Z fold. I don't even know what to call these fine things. I I don't even know. Um, hinges. There we go. Z fold hinges. We still have those made from Tuesday and you only need one per folder so just set that one aside <clears throat> okay so for our our A side which when I did when we went over it on Tuesday so here's a file folder okay and this is how it opens so this very front I call my A side okay this this one is A and the back one with the actual tab is B okay so as I'm working through this with measurements and referring to sides, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to start with our A side. And you're going to um, going to cut it to, and oh my gosh, oh, I'm so mad at myself. I left my lid off my white pen, and oh, I hope it works. Let me see here. Oh, poor white pen. It was just hard as rock the other day. Uh, let's see. Well, you can kind of see it. Let me, let me grab my other one. Let's see if that one will work. This one's kind of, I don't like this pen. This is the pen touch one. I'm not a big fan of that. No, I'm not building the pockets, etc. We're just building the folders. I wanted to get that out of the way. Next week we'll be building the pockets. We'll start with number one. Because if I had to take up this time to, to show, I mean, it was just, so next week we will just grab one and build the pockets. And hopefully we can get through at least halfway of two. Okay. Oh, stupid pen. Oh, I'm so mad at myself for leaving that open. Okay, so there's your measurements for that front side. It's the same measurements as the initial one. We just have some different punches and cuts that we have to make. Okay. Okay, so with this one, what we're going to do is, again, you're going to put your, this is the right top corner, you're going to put it in your punch board. Oh, cheese and rice. Oh. And you're going to punch that corner off. Okay. So we're going to punch that. Now you're going to slide this over to four and punch again. Okay. And then you're just going to flip it over. Punch this bottom corner. Slide this over to four. And punch again. Okay. What we're going to, so this is what you end up with. It looks like almost three tabs, one, two, and three. We're going to remove this middle tab. Okay.
Oh, I didn't know links weren't allowed. I thought I did. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go for it. Sorry, I usually allow them at the beginning of class, and I didn't for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to cut off right here in the middle of the scoop. You can see that little where we punched right in the middle of that to right in the middle of this one, and I need to change my craft blade. Okay, so I've now cut off that middle tab. So this is our A page, and that's it. A page is done. Bingo, bingo. The thing I love about teaching you guys this is that you can't get file folders in every stinking color. Now you can. Just make your own. Where's my blades? And these are just standard file folders. I'm not coming up with any crazy measurements on my own. It's nothing. I'm just showing you how to make it with the envelope punch board. I don't see the link, Sandra. Did you put it? I allowed links. Oh. Hey Zandra, text it me and I'll see if, text it to me and I'll see if I can post it in. I'll see if it'll allow me to post a link on my own page. How about that? Okay, that's going to be super sharp. Don't worry, I've got band-aids on standby. Okay, so page A is done. We'll go ahead and set that aside. And we'll go ahead and do B. Okay, so our B side... Its beginning measurement is nine and a half wide. Okay, oops. In a PM. All right, hold on. To me, because I didn't see it. There, I don't have any PMs. My chat's popped out, but that shouldn't affect anything. Did you PM me on Facebook? New. No. Yeah, I don't have any PMs. How's the clarity of the picture and stuff when I'm moving around? Does it get all pixelated? That's what I'm wondering. If I need to pay the guys to come in and hardwire me or what? Okay, so nine and a half wide, and it'll be eleven and five eighths tall. That's what all of these are: is eleven and five eighths tall. So, um, all of these measurements for all three are the same. We're just punching in different spots. Okay, so for this one, what you're gonna do is your upper right hand corner. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, so for this one, what we're going to do is slide it all the way over to three and three quarters and punch my screen. So three and three quarters, and you would punch and then flip it over, do the same thing to this side at three and three quarters and punch. Okay, and what we're going to end up doing now is cutting from this little punch right here down. 
and this little punch up. Okay. So just so everything is straight, I'm going to go ahead and... Sandra, I haven't gotten a text yet. <laughs> just in case you sent it. I'm going to go ahead and line stuff up just to make sure I'm cutting straight. Oh, there it is. Got it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Let me put it in, you guys. Give me just one second. So am I, Sandra. Okay, so that's what you sent. <laughs> I don't know if there needs to be a WW before that. Does there need to be WW? I don't know if that'll work. Oh, she said HTTP. Okay, try that. That looks like a Ow. Oh. That looks like a link. My craft knife was hiding underneath my keyboard, and guess what? Just sliced my finger open. It's a good thing I got band-aids. Oh, that hurts. Holy mother. Sorry, I'm, to I'm so slow at typing. Typing is not my forte. All right. Well, and that was right on the tip. Like, you know, like you, like they want to, like, te test your blood for, like, I don't know, diabetes or blood sugar or whatever. I don't know what that is. But you know how they prick their finger? Oh, man. Huh. Okay. Um, I see the link. Do you guys see the link? Oh my gosh. You stream. Quit being a turd. Come on. 
All right, so we're going to cut off the top two sections. So from this first punch to the end and from this punch to the end. Okay. I'm just going to line things up. Oh, God, that hurt my finger. I can really feel it now. And I just changed my craft knife. The ironic thing is the other craft knife didn't have a tip. It broke off. That's why I needed to change it. <laughs> and this one, I'll cut off this top tab. I feel like I'm about to wind the whole shoulder about my finger. <laughs> it hurts. Okay. So now what you'll have is two that have a nice lined up spaces. It fits like a regular file folder should. We need to punch the corners. Oh, I need to get rid of this chair. It's driving me batty. My dog, my little girl, Millie, she likes to be wherever I am. I have kicked her out of here right now. But I put a bench right here next to my window. So she lays up there right at the window's edge and just lays there all day. She's like a cat sunbathing. And uh, so it's right behind me. There really literally is no more room in this shop. Hopefully we'll be doing what I'm planning on doing. I'm so excited. Okay, so now you're going to take it. There's your tab. And you're going to punch the corners just like we do on all the other ones punch and punch just let the tab rest on the top just make sure your top is lined up against the edge you'll be fine and so now this one is cut so we're going to go ahead and put the hinge on So, and we talked about this in class on Tuesday. So, here's our folder. Okay, as you can see. Now, you want to make sure that when you put this on and you lay it down, you know, like this, that the open edge is right here. Okay. So, if what I'm okay, so this is how it needs to go. Let me do it on this one so you guys can see. Okay, so here's the Z fold. You can kind of see that. Okay. So here's the edge of my folder right here. Okay. You want to make sure that you put this on correctly and that the Z fold, or th this opening, opens like this. Okay. So you've got this opening here. Okay, and this is where your hinge is going to go. And then this right here is where your page will go, the, the top of your file folder. If you do it the other way, this is what happens. Okay. If you do it the other way, it won't work. Or at least it won't work very well. Now the opening is on top. And that's where your fold would go. And it does fold out. But now, because your hinge is in here, it, it makes it awkward for this top page to fold open. So you want to make sure that it's done this way. Just like this. Okay. So you've got the edge with the opening right there. Hi, Robs. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some tape on the bottom of that. I hope I'm explaining that portion enough because that's important. So if you guys aren't getting that portion, let me know. <laughs> so I can read try to explain it a different way okay and since I have the tape right here so this is that bot and there's a little bit of tape overhang I'll take care of that but so I have this is the where this tape is is what gets glued down 
But you're also going to need to put tape right here on the top one. Right here. Okay. So that gets glued down. And there needs to be tape on this one. It's so hard working with black. You can't see nothing. Let me cut this tape off. I should use three eighths of an inch. Okay, so let me grab my three eighths of an inch. Heather's got her pen and paper. And then she's writing something down. What I don't know. But. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line this up. I don't think that Ustream is punishing you. You guys just have to remember that we're having issues on my end. I'm no longer hardwired. I'm running with a slower computer because mine totally bit the dust. My awesome running computer is totally lost and everything on it. So, because we had a lot of dropped, before I went hardwired, we had a lot of dropped people all the time. That's not anything new. Hi, sweetheart. I'm broadcasting. What's up? Screwdrivers. Right there in the middle. Really skinny, skinny heads. I don't have those. There's one in the though. There's one in the basket in the kitchen. The basket. You know where the pens are to write on the whiteboard. Oh, okay. There's one sticking out of there. It's very teeny tiny. Did Connor come home? Yeah, we went out there and there's no gas or oil for the. So it won't start without oil. So um I said, okay. Um so he's gonna come we're gonna do it in the morning. Okay. Because he has no school tomorrow. So we need helmet seven. Tonight? Yeah. Okay. I like your little tail you got over there. <laughs> yeah, all my fouls are lost. I lost everything. But I don't save my videos to my hard drive. I just, I've never done that. I've only moved them to YouTube. I don't even know how to do that. So I didn't really lose much. I didn't lose anything I know that I didn't have. I lost all of my pictures um, from when Mark was going through treatment and stuff. There's like 20,000 pictures I took in like a year. Um, they are backed up on a jump drive. So I just have to find the jump drive. <laughs> So, okay, this is what we've got. It's glued down. You can see it's taped down. We've got our little crevice right here. Here's our sticky part that we're going to put the um, file on. Yeah, no, all of my videos, I moved to YouTube. I don't even know how to put them on my blog. All of this is, like, totally new to me. I would post them on my blog if I knew how. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> so, okay, and we've created our file. Here's where our hinge is going to go, and it still allows for opening and all of that. Hi, Loriana. I'm going to take it in. At the beginning of next month, I'm going to take it in, see if they can't pull some stuff off of it, and that would be glorious if they could. Um, I mostly want the pictures. There's nothing else. I had a huge, like, photo editing and software programs. I don't know why. I went out and bought this, and I don't know how to run them. Video editors, I mean, 
So I still have the CDs of those, so I can put those on my new laptop. So no worries. I, you know, it is what it is. So that is uh, two. That's number two. So let's do number three real quick. Number three, I've also got cut. I'm ready to go. And again, they are the same widths and measurements to start out with. Okay. So this one, which is um, A, side A, which is our very front one, right here. Okay. That one is going to measure the same as all the other ones um, at 8 and 3 quarters wide by 11 and 5 eighths tall. Okay. And then our B side, which is the bigger one, this one is going to measure um, nine and a half wide, nine and a half wide by eleven and five eighths tall. Okay, all three of them start out with that exact same measurement. So let's go ahead and do our punches, and we'll start with the we'll start with the um, the A one. <clears throat> yeah. We have our top right hand corner. So if you if this was a file, that's how you're looking at it. So we're gonna put our top right hand corner. We're gonna punch. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is just flip it and move it to four. Or no, I'm sorry, three and three quarters. Move it to three and three quarters. I knew that sounded wrong. And punch. Okay. So what we're cutting off on this one is this little notch to the bottom because this is our third. It's very, very easy. You know what I want right now? I want some stinking half and half ice cream. Tell you what. I know where I'm going after the class. And the kind that's not like creamy, but like it has like ice chunks in it. <laughs> okay. So that's what you end up with. You have your cut, your punch corner there. This is where our tab will be at the bottom. We need to punch this corner here. So go ahead and set it in your punch board and punch. Okay, so here's the front of our file folder. My screen looks a lot smaller too, and I'm not closer. I wonder where my controls are. I wonder if I'm all zoomed in. Uh oh. Hopefully I'm not opening something that I shouldn't be opening. <sighs> Hang in there, you guys. No, I'm not going to have a margarita. Well, that sounds really good. Maybe I should have a margarita. No, I'm going to have some ice cream. Ah! Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are still there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, shoot. Still recording. My computer had popped up with this cloud media thing. Oh, yeah. It's one of those ones where you like touch the screen to slide things. I must download and install updates before continuing. And I'm going to exit that. Okay. So let's do B side. B side's really easy. Okay, so here's our top right hand corner. You're gonna put that in. No, don't put that in. Okay, here's our top right hand corner. Okay, 
And so you would normally put it like this, but go ahead and flip it because we need to work with this bottom. So we need to work with the bottom right hand corner. So go ahead and flip that and put a punch in and then slide it all the way over to four and put another punch. Okay. So from this little punch right here up is what you're cutting off. Okay, and now what you need to do is take and punch this corner, right at the corner. Okay. So here is our number three tab. Okay. And these are all evenly spaced. You can do these in any color cardstock that you like. Um, I like using the paper accents. It seems a lot heavier than some card stocks, but um, that doesn't truly matter. We're going to be matting and creating some really good strength to the file folders as it is, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Let's go ahead and put its hinge on. I'm going to run some tape here. And you can use wet glue, whatever kind of adhesive. I would use a strong adhesive, that's for darn sure. But you could use whatever adhesive you would like to use. Um, sometime tonight, I'm going to go ahead and go in. Um, this has been requested. Um, well, for one, I'm going to move videos from Ustream to YouTube again. Um, I do it usually about once a week. Um, but tonight I'm going to go in and sit down and um, schedule probably at least the next two months of classes. They may not have titles. It could just say standard Ustream time on it. Um, I know the projects that I'm going to be doing probably for the entire summer, but um, when I'm going to be doing them all depends on paper lines. So that's the plan there. So um, maybe check back in 24 hours or so, and um, you guys can click attend to those and get your one hour prior show reminders. Whether you're going to actually be there or not, if you just go in and click to attend it, then it'll at least remind you. So now you have an option. They're not in there right now, but I will do that sometime tonight. I'm going to go get ice cream first. I just promised myself ice cream. So that's always good. I'm trying to do uh, events in Facebook. Um, if they're kind of a pain in the butt to remove, but I'm going to probably do a few of those as well. At least that way there will be things posted in case I have forgot the last couple of days. I usually post first thing in the morning and whoop, right out the door. But yesterday morning, we, and then this morning, holy camoli, I got up and um, I got up, took the kid to school, took Connor to school, and then I came home and it was like eight, and I just walked into my garage and grabbed the lawnmower. We have actually quite a huge lot, so by ten, I had lawn mowed and weed whacked just the front yard. 
it was totally dripping sweat, but it was a really good workout. <laughs> Definitely needed it. And I felt energized afterwards, so I came in and cleaned the house, too. Did some laundry, you know. And then I laid down. I'm kind of feeling it now, but... Okay, and so these open just like that. Okay. So this is file folder three. There's two, and here is one. So one, two, and three. And they line up evenly as you look at least at the tab portion, with the correct zip in the middle. Okay, so that's how you do all three of the tabs, or the file folders for those that are building theirs. Um, that's the reason why we came on today. I wanted to make sure everybody could get theirs built by next Thursday. Next Thursday, same time, 3 p.m. Pacific, we're throwing in an extra class because I'm taking Sunday off. Um, and that's when we will start decorating um, file one and hopefully half of file two. That way we only have um, maybe a file and, I mean, they, they go really fast. They're super fast. So if you have your paper and everything ready, you're you're ready to rock. Um, so any questions? Today wasn't going to be a long class. I kind of anticipated about an hour. I thought maybe we should start decorating them, but half the people that want to be here aren't here, and I don't think it's fair. This is not my regular time, but next week, I next Tuesday, we're going to do Christmas card, the Christmas cards for May, so that'll be a fun class, and hopefully I can have those done and posted by Saturday. So you guys will know what you need. That's my ultimate goal. So they're super, super fast and easy. So if there aren't any questions, I'm going to stop the recording and we can sit and chit chat. If you guys have questions, you want to see something. At the beginning of this video, and I did record it, I showed the new um, Bow Bunny. Then uh, somewhere in time, is that what it is? I get these two confused. Because the Prima Time Traveler, yeah, so it's Bow Bunny Somewhere in Time. It is gorgeous. So let me stop that. Thanks for watching this. This is part two of the BHA album, and we'll see you guys next week for part three.